Which one of you did this? Which of you talentless hacks messed with my art? Calm down. We'll figure it out. Only blood can pay for this. Heads will roll. Tongues will be shorn from mouths. Guys, keep it down a little. People are trying to focus. Francine, you're the HR person. Do your job. I demand vengeance. Viper, whatever is going on here, I really don't care. Uh, you might want to check the latest build, Francine. Oh, I have to. Play it. Words cannot describe this atrocity. Okay, okay, fine. What's the problem? It looks fine. It looks fine. It looks fine! I'm surrounded by savages! Ah! Did you see the shark? Someone swapped it for a shiny next-gen 3D model. I didn't know our game could look so good. No, not good! This is an artistic disgrace. You did this, didn't you, Kevin? Uh, I don't even know how to open a 3D modeling program. You downloaded it from the internet! From some random asset market store or something. Dude, there's nothing wrong with asset markets. You don't want to have to rebuild the same generic desk every game. I'm above building desks, thank you very much. I meant like a general you, like all you artists. <laughs> Shows how much you know. It only starts with a desk. Then, one day, it's your main character. Next thing you know, you're addicted to this stuff, and your game is nothing but stock photos, and pre-made environments, and royalty-free sound effects, and then all the stock assets rebel against their masters, and harvest your organs, and I've seen it happen! Hey guys. Nice work on the new Shark Viper. Looks neat. Gah! I'm gonna go floss my eyeballs. You get used to it, Viper! Eh, he'll be fine by tomorrow. Still, the art didn't just... Update on its own. I don't know. Sharks are pretty mysterious. Let us demystify this mystery pylon. You all knock yourselves out. I've got a meeting with Jeb. I don't really want to play this thing again, but I guess I'm gonna...
Is Viper just always upset about something? Eh, no worse than most character artists. You have to be careful with them. I wonder if I could convert this meeting room into a second storage room. Ugh, there's a reason no one plays these old games anymore. I'm not sure why anyone cares about this meter thing. There's no way it's accurate. Hmm. More of Kevin's scribbles. Dumb waiters like this are just a quirk of working in an old building. I'm pretty sure locking a bunch of programmers in the basement is a I know Viper gets a tad pushy, but he's gotten so much better at using his words. I'm not overreacting, okay? Now where's my baseball bat? I'm hallucinating anger squirrels! Okay. I'm just gonna give you some space, big guy. This is Black Belt Betty. The Black Belt is in Suffragette. Voting is sweet. I don't need anything from the storage closet right now. I need to talk to Jeb. Hello out there! Tell Viper to shut up already! I'm trying to record! I haven't been able to open this fridge since that stupid creature moved in. Ugh, this thing is disgusting. The cereal is made for little kids. No wonder all the developers like it. Hey Jeb, you wanted something? Ah uh, yes, there you are. So, we have some guests coming by later this week. Important executives with even more important money in their wallets. Yeah, so? So, I need you to spruce up this office a bit. We're looking drab and too office-y. We need to look hip or, or artsy. This place needs to look so artsy that these people leave Friday feeling culturally outmatched, but ultimately warm and gooey about us. Friday? Like... Two days from now? Look, it's okay because I know you're good at your job and two days is a lot of time. It's not like tomorrow morning. Two days to pick out, assemble, and rearrange an entire office from scratch. All for some dog and pony show you gotta do? Why don't we spend that time on the game? These people are investors, Francine. They don't care about the game. 
They care about fancy, uncomfortable furniture and resin statues of things from our game. We don't have any resin statues from our games. Well, then resin statues from someone else's game. They won't know the difference. With no time. Really, Jeb? Like, really? What's my budget? Just make sure everything has a good return policy. You know. And keep positive. This is a growth opportunity. Right. So, two days. can do this. I'm going to make the best damn redecorated office ever made. Morning, Ben. Lovely day, isn't it? Morning, Joan. Yeah, it... holy shit! Man, what the hell? Y'all know there's a big-ass dinosaur in the middle of the office? Not now, Ben. There's a mystery to solve. Detective Pylon shall emerge victorious! Yeah, Francine brought that in a few minutes ago. She's got a truck full of stuff outside. Damn it. If it's not one thing, it's another. Hey, Francine. Do you know anything about the dinosaur? It's kind of blocking my desk. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Impulse buy from the checkout aisle. We can move your desk. Uh, you mean move the dinosaur? I didn't buy that thing to put it halfway across the office. I bought it to sit next to it. Hey, help me get some stuff off the truck. There's more? Yeah. I just discovered the most amazing store ever. You won't believe how cheap everything is. Now hop up here and help. There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen this store, Ben. There we go. There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen this store, Ben. There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen this store, Ben. Okay. Doesn't move. Seriously, did you really have to put the lamp all the way in the back? That won't work. Okay. Okay. Okay.
There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen this store, Ben. Okay. Seriously, did you really have to put the lamp all the way in the back? Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. Do we need any of this stuff? That's not the point, Ben. Come on. Act American. Really, come on. A knife with dinosaur? I could have gotten the 18 foot one. Okay. 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 There we go. Okay. 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 Thanks. I really appreciate your help. It was a mess in there. Look, I didn't have time to be all delicate with it. I need to go back and get more. More? Francine, does Jeb know about this? Of course. I mean, mostly. He wants to impress some executives. With a crappy dinosaur. This is kitsch, not crap. The store is a godsend. They have wood-paneled water coolers and cheap carpets and crepe machines. The studio doesn't need a crepe machine. The studio doesn't not need a crepe machine. Can you bring these things inside? I'll be back soon. Where did all this stuff come from? Francine found some new furniture store or something. Oh, is it cheap random assets and provisions? They just opened up nearby. I'm not crazy, Emma. This stuff looks bad, right? Well, it doesn't quite match the office style. Ugh, that sofa looks like barf from the 70s. Where did all this junk come from? Francine's gone on a redecoration crusade. You didn't notice the dinosaur? Wait, that's real? I thought only I could see that. Yeah, it's real, dude. Hey, can you see the chandelier demons too? Uh, no. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out this store and see if I can talk Francine down. Oh, can I come? They advertise on public access radio, you know. All right, well, Let's go quick. Okay, so Ben, Viper, and Julie all deny knowing anything about that new shark mesh. That leaves Jeb and Francine. You know Francine pretty well, right? Could it be her? Uh, yeah. Well, we don't talk too much anymore. 
But I don't think that fits her M.O. What about Jeb? Jeb doesn't know how to turn on a computer. Ah, yeah, right. Any clues from the game itself? The new Shark Models file name was temp underscore shark underscore revision B underscore final underscore final two underscore complete. Ah, the naming convention of an experienced developer, I see. Don't we have a change log for things like this? Uh, huh? She's right. Our backup system tracks every change. We just need to get that change log from the engineers. Awesome. Let's send them a note. Well, someone made us get rid of all our interns. No sacrificial interns, no help from the engineers. That's the rule. Unless we can find something else they want, right? Maybe we can bring them coffee. Everyone likes fancy coffee. Pylon, you're a tech artist. That's half engineer. Would an engineer like that? Definitely not. Not enough sugar. Chai tea lattes, then? That might work, but someone still has to go down there and deliver them. I'd go, but the engineers hate me. And if I go, I'll never come back. They've been trying to recruit me for years. Okay, fine. I'll go. How bad could it be? Would you look at this place? It goes on forever. This is a lot more than just office supplies. <gasps> hey, there's a Tim Curry poster. I did not know I needed that. Ooh, and kettle corn. Everyone likes kettle corn. We're not here to shop, Joan. We're here to stop Francine from shopping. Why not just take her company credit card away? Oh, there's a yarn section. I don't know about that. I mean, she said Jeb gave her approval. How good are you at sneaking? Joan? Joan? All right, I guess I'm on my own. You again, miss? This is your third visit today. Do I need to cut you off and call you a cab? Spare me the jokes. Just ring me up. Fine, okay, fine. Yoink, I'll take that. Ben, what are you doing here? Give that back! It was Joan's idea. Listen, we're just here to talk. We don't need all this worthless crap. Oh, no, no offense. Nah. It's okay. Give it back, Ben. I've totally got Jeb's okay on this. Really? Jeb wants you to buy a cardboard cutout of a cactus cowboy. This place is incredible, Francine. I know, right? Tell Ben to give me back the company card. Ben, look around a little. There's going to be something you like, too. What in God's name is that? It says his name is T-Pose Yorick on the tag. Give Francine back her card and let's check out already. Joan, you came here to help, remember? Look, that bastard gave me two days to redecorate the entire office. This store is the only reason he's getting anything. Now get out of my way. Ow! Huh, that was a bit extreme, Joan. I've never used somebody else to knock out a person before. Let's get him back to the office. Just so you know, this is probably a suicide mission, but that's okay, you can still go. All right. Just don't think about how dark it is, or about how the shadows call to you to join them forever. Uh, what? Okay, this is life or death. Now, it's important to not talk to anyone down there but the lead engineer. Yeah, no talking. That just riles them up. And make sure that they don't steal all your chais. You need to save one for the lead engineer. Here are some really dim holiday lights I found. You could use these to help you light your way. Are you sure you want to go? Um, no, not really. Well, it's too late to turn back now. We bought all these chives. Wait, how will I know which one is the lead engineer? Just look for the one with the most monitors. Engineers get their power from the number of monitors they have. You got this, Midge. Oh, man, my head. Joan, is that you? how we get back? Where's Francine? She's gone back to the store. Sorry I had to knock you out. You knocked me out? What the hell, Joan? Francine has a vision for the studio, Ben. I was blind before, but I see it now. And once you see what we've done, you'll see it too. Oh no. What did you two do, Joan? Have a look, Benjamin. Of all the things in here, I think the dinosaur makes the most sense. Okay, yeah, wood paneled water coolers look as cool as they sound. There's gotta be hearts inside that pottery. I know it. This is a Hugbot plushie. Are you real, Ben? Or are you another hallucination? Uh, yeah, I'm real, man. Francine's out of control, dude. Hmm. Fake Ben would say something like that. Leave me alone, Fake Ben. An anchor. Right. Okay. 
What the hell are we going to do with a cauldron? We're not a damn microbrewery. No one needs this much luggage. All right, couch. I didn't think you were going to be the most ordinary thing I saw today. Yeah, you're going to clean this up, right, Timothy? I'm sorry. I can't do that. All right, I guess this thing is okay. Whatever it is. Well, I guess we didn't need to get to the meeting room. Oh, well. Voxel blocks? Wow. At least my desk got something cool like the dinosaur. Jeb, listen, Francine's lost it. She's gone ballistic. Hello, employee. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I gave Francine an important task and I expect her to deliver. She's making our office look like a toddler sticker book. That sounds fun. I should go check, and I will, once I'm done pondering. Pondering time is crucial for a good boss. Hey there, Ben. What are you two doing in here? We're waiting for Midge. She's downstairs. Downstairs? With the engineers? Is she out of her mind? We're gonna solve the mystery of the shark. Mystery of the... what? Y'all are still on about that crap? Have you looked at the studio? No, we've been in here, doing important stuff. Duh. Why? Okay, look. Francine and Joan have gone rogue. They found some new weird store and they're redecorating the office. So? So... Go oh, look, guys. We've got to wait for Midge. Just poke your damn head out there already. Huh, that's different. Ooh, there are so many things to look at. This looks wild. No, it doesn't look wild. It looks garish as hell, dude. God knows how much she's costing the studio. She's mad with power. All that detail is clouding my judgment, but I think you're overreacting. You know, now that I think about it, Francine can go on power trips. I heard that. Francine, you need to stop this. We can't work in a place like this. I can. We're supposed to be making a game. You made it look like an explosion at the charm bracelet factory. You need an intervention. I figured you might try and stop me again. Luckily, they sell everything at cheap random assets and provisions. Even stock template game developers. Whoa, are those real? Hey, let's not do anything rash, Francine. Hey. Shut it, Kevin. There's one for each of you. Stock template developer gonna take my job. Super punch! Super punch! Stop that! Super punch! Super punch! Stop that! Super punch! Take my kick! Ah! 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 Super punch! Super punch! Super punch! Critical hit! Face things. Take their assets. Ha, ha, ha. Super punch. Ha, ha, ha. Let's scuffle. 
You're done getting in my way, Ben. Joan, keep an eye on them. You can't do this! Yeah! This is definitely against some HR policy. Oh, relax. I'll let you out on Saturday, once Jeb has his little- Hey! Put me down! You're supposed to listen to what I- ah! You plastic moron, don't you know you're under warranty? Well, now, that was rude. Let us out! <sighs> okay. So, no big deal. Just gonna go wander into a pitch black basement filled with God knows what while carrying chai teas. Just another work day, right? Right. We're totally fine down here. They do have a lot of bones, though. Oh, that beast is up. We smell fear. All our bases are belong to. We smell shy. Working. <laughs> oh no, is that shy? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> the A stop building. I'm team building. <laughs> We're a support structure. Must be them, the lead engineer. Hey, open this door. Hello, 
those directions my ass. What's wrong with your friend? Nothing's wrong with handsome T-Pose York. This is just the way he is, and he's perfect. Do these go down? Why would the arms need to go down? Is he alive? Hello in there! Kill me! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. We don't speak bubble. Man, here I was hoping to have a normal, productive day for once. I hope you're happy, Francine. Oh, shut up, Ben. I was doing good work, and you know it. Yeah, well, your good work just took our jobs, literally. Those things are sitting at our desks. Aw, they think they're people. Right. Like that will fool anyone? Whoa, Francine! This place is so over the top. Good work. Nothing I'm seeing makes any sense. Which must mean it's very artsy. Ah, uh, yeah. I knew you could deliver. Damn it, Francine. Learn to take a compliment. I'll be in my office. Admit it, Francine. You got a problem. Yeah, these doppelgangers. I mean, all this, not just these weird, creepy-ass mannequin things. All that stuff out there, that's the problem. I tell you what. Let's deal with the fake game developers first. And then we can talk about redecorating. Deal. Who do we still have on the outside? Uh, we got Jeb. Anyone useful? Julie? She hasn't left the recording booth since August. Maybe Midge. Where is Midge? Oh, right. Midge. Um, hello. Are you the lead engineer? Hi, I'm Midge, the new animator. I, uh, I replaced Javier. Uh, sorry I didn't come down to introduce myself earlier. I know, kind of rude, right? Look, I don't want to bother you all, but, um, something got changed with the build yesterday, and we're curious if you could, uh, check the logs? I brought you chai lattes. You want me to put them there? Uh, okay. Oh, this this is the check-in log. Check-in 4702, 12:15 a.m. Okay, so around midnight last night. Submission notes added revised shark model with fancy shaders. Contributor Midge P. This can't be right. That's me. Viper! Viper! Huh? Who's talking? Damn bees. I bet it was office bees again. Viper! Ugh, damn it! Who is it already? Over here! Are you real Francine or fake Francine? I've been, like, seeing stuff ever since yesterday. I see stuff when I get mad sometimes. What? Let us out. Can't. Door handle's gone. But yeah, they're like a bunch of faceless nightmare people out here. It's weirding me out, but they're fake. They're real. They locked us in here. Oh, man. There are more of you jokers in there? Look, uh, this situation is dire. The office is filled with hostiles. You're the only one who can save us. I knew this day would come. Okay, how do you kill these nightmares? They're not alive. They're just made of polystyrene. Really? Will they give you cancer if you lick them? Only in California. Whoa, whoa. Just so we're clear, I'm not licking anybody, okay? Focus, people. Just, like, set them on fire or something, Viper. You're kidding me. The one day I left my flamethrower at home. You have a flamethrower? Duh. I have the official Sweaty Blood 14 Collector's Edition Fully Functional Flamethrower, signed by a bloody Chuck cosplayer. I guess I can run home and get it. No need. I got a flamethrower from that store. You have a flamethrower too? Uh, no. It's the office flamethrower. I think it's over by the wood chipper. We have a wood chipper? It was in the clearance section, okay? All right. So get the flamethrower, set everything on fire. These things are toast.
Everyone's on fire! Got you! What's going on? What? We're free! Ha! Huh. I can't believe that worked! Thanks, handsome t -pose, Yorick. Oh, damn! Viper, you set the studio on fire! Hey, what did you think would happen? Right, Jade, what do we do? Why are you asking me? Use the fire extinguisher. That's on fire, too! So, bad news, everyone. As you all know, the studio caught fire today. We lost all the Francine's hard work. It turns out everything she bought was extraordinarily flammable. Yeah, I'm sorry I got carried away, everyone. It was fun while it lasted, though, so I can't promise I won't do it again someday. Also, while structural damage was minimal, We've had to cancel our upcoming investor meeting. It's a real shame. It would have been great to get those investors in here. I can practically smell their wallets. That's smoke damage. On the plus side, insurance payout from the fire should keep us going for a few months. So, yay. Now everyone, get to work cleaning this place up while I go ponder this. Whew, glad that's all settled. Who knew cheap goods were so dangerous? Oh, uh, Joan, we have to destroy Yorick, too. Oh, he'll be chained up in my basement, don't you worry. Well, all right, then. Hey, Midge, did the lead engineer tell you who added the shark mesh? Uh, yeah. They, uh, they said it was a rendering optimization. Really? An optimization? I believe it. Engineers never lie. They refactor instead. Huh. All right. Well, I guess that means we can't change it back, huh? Viper won't be happy. We shouldn't change it back anyway. Have you looked at the meter? The meter? Oh! Hot heckin' damn! Four out of ten? Yeah. I've never seen that number go up before. Huh. Now we just need to keep that up till we release. Maybe we can convince the engineers to optimize their stuff more. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah.
Morning, Midge. Another fine day at the races, huh? Oh, hey, Kevin. Still can't believe we hit four out of ten on our predictor meter. <sighs> Today is gonna be a great day. Yeah, definitely. Hey, psst. Huh? Psst. Kevin, Midge, over here. Uh, I think that trash can is talking to us. Hello, trash can. Kevin, oh, thank God. It's me, Hylon. Oh, well, what's with the, uh, trash can? Yeah, I've got a thing going on. You can't see my face. Oh. Like a pimple? No, I mean, uh, literally, you can't see my face. What are you talking about? Okay, look, but don't shout, okay? Gah! Who took your face? Silent, are you okay? Yeah, uh, but I keep scaring little kids. We need to get you to someone fast. You two don't catch occasional bugs? Usually, I just sleep them off. Do you remember where you last saw your face? If we act quick, we can find it before someone runs over it. Well, my face is still here. I just can't see it. The internet said it was probably a non-manifold topology issue. Or maybe inverted face syndrome. Inverted faces are totally a normal problem, right? Pylon, nothing about this is normal. That's not what the internet said. We have to get you to a hospital. Like, now. Hold up. Uh, company meeting, folks. Ten o'clock, remember? Don't wait around for that. Kevin, isn't Pylon your best friend? Definitely, and I'm sure he would do the same for me. Oh, hey, do you still have your wisdom teeth? Wild. Stop looking at my wisdom teeth. Look, I can't go anywhere right now. My insurance card is in the studio, and I can't go inside like this. What? Here, put this on. Let's go find it. Kevin, you wait here with the car. Ah, I feel more normal already. Hurry up and get your insurance card. We don't want to get stuck here during the company meeting. I'm too busy with this to even look up at you. These file cabinets are actually empty. Rip. Nope, we're not allowed in this cabinet. I didn't want to look at it anyway. I'm not sure what made me think of it, but Poker Night isn't as much fun these days. If this door had a voice, it would say, Open me, Pylon. Fulfill your destiny. Spooky stuff, huh? This microwave isn't plugged in, so there's always time for a little bit of gaming.
Now would be the perfect time to prank Kevin's desk. But I have things to do, and he tends to not notice pranks anyway. Timothy, my man, does this ski mask look good on me? I'm sorry, I can't do that. My insurance card should be here, but I don't see it anywhere. I should look around. I wonder if anyone has noticed my stash up there yet. Thank God the fire didn't spread to the meeting room. What would we have done then? Hey, Joan. I've lost my insurance card. Have you seen it? No. Have you asked Francine? She's the HR person after all. Midge keeps her desk pretty clean. That's the sign of a completely trustworthy person. Hey, Viper, have you uh, seen my insurance card? What? No. Why would I care about that? This is a Canadian spider moose. They only have six legs, though, so they aren't a real spider. We need to repaint here still. That fire did a number on us. Francine, have you seen my insurance card? I think I lost it. As a matter of fact, I did. In the microwave. You don't happen to know how it got there, do you? Oh, uh, right. Sorry, that was an experiment. You know us tech artists. Always tinkering. Well, tinker with something less important. Those cards are a pain to replace. I left it in the kitchenette for you. Noted. And thanks. Oh, hey. Uh, you cosplaying as something? Uh, yeah, but it's a secret. Okay, then. Have fun with that, dude. Ooh, 
Oh, Hogbot Color Dots. I forgot we had this stuff back here. No time for a snack now. I've got to fix my face before I stuff my face. Ah, here you are, you sneaky insurance card. Circle up, everyone. Weekly meeting time. Oh, no. They're starting. All right, everyone. Let's get started. So, we officially reached a four on that uh, score meter thing. I don't really know what that means, but I assume you all do. And I'm disappointed in you. What? We've never gotten a meter that high before. We can't even figure out how we did it. You all know how surveys work. Anything less than a perfect score means we're leaving money on the table, team. Hey, who is that? It's me, Pylon. Yeah, he has in no way whatsoever proved that he is Pylon. Viper, stop that. Yeah, that's Pylon. He just wanted to wear a mask today. You could be anyone under there. You could even be a corporate spy. Ooh, or a real spy. Just take off the mask already. Why? What if he's cold? That's spy logic. He's definitely a spy. Why would anyone spy on us? No reason. No reason at all. I got him! Here! Slippery bastard. Stop it, Viper. That hurt. Ah! Ah! Holy crap! What is that? Ah! Everyone calm down. It's fine. Yeah, it's me. Dude, what happened? Stay back, Ben. Never trust anything without skin. It's a faceless spy thing. It's here to espionage us. Don't let him touch me. Ah, he will poison me. Oh, no. Who do you work for? The FBI? VSSE? I'll uppercut the answers out of him. Where is Pylon? I am Pylon. <sighs> I'll get the flamethrower. No time. Use this. Pylon, run. I'll think of something! Just stay away from them, Pylon! Stay back! Stop squirming around! Run away! Close. Got the insurance card, though. Ah, great. So, where to? Well, I think I need to see a technical doctor. Aren't you a technical doctor? I'm a technical artist. We have less letters after our name, and we're much more sensitive. Hey, uh, if I get this thing fixed, you think they'll be nice to me back there? Who, Viper? He's not nice to anyone. Onward to the technical doctor. 
Man, that was terrifying. Thought I was going to have to step in there for a moment. Whew. I will have nightmares about that for months. You should get a bat. No one messes with anyone with a bat. Well, no, that was Pylon, right? He was sick and needed help. Pylon? Is that the skinny green guy? <laughs> Didn't look like him to me. Mitch, it almost sounded like you were aiding the enemy. It was Pylon! I'm watching you, okay? You know, most of them did look green, y'all. Well, whoever it was, they're gone now. Good riddance, the monster. Hopefully, they'll be fine. Oh, hey, Midge. Someone left a letter for you this morning. Really? I... Uh, I don't think anyone even knows I work here yet. Well, whatever it is, it was dropped off by some guy with a big umbrella. Oh, uh, thanks. I'll, um... I'll go have a look. Right. Let's see what this is. Meet today, Southwest Alley, 1 p.m. Come alone. This can't be good. No, you don't have inverted face syndrome. But I looked it up! All internet roads lead to inverted face! You probably just have rigonitis. For liability purposes, that's not an official diagnosis. But rigonitis didn't even come up on the list. You're a game developer, right? I don't look up how to make games on the internet now, do I? Yes, that's how you get into game dev. But just tell me how to fix it, Doc. Oh, it should clear up on its own within a few days, maybe a couple of weeks. That's not official advice, or else you'd need to sign an indemnification waiver. A couple of weeks? Come on, that'll take a million years! Well, now that I think about it, there is a procedure that a specialist could do. Uh, that's not a referral, or else I'd have to charge you a referral fee. Ooh, tell me about it! Unfortunately, your insurance doesn't cover any specialists. Or the procedure. Or this visit, really. Then who pays you? Mr. Pylon, please calm down. I know it's complicated, but- You just told me you can't help me. That's because you need to see a specialist. Who I can't even pay for. Your insurance doesn't cover elective procedures. My face is not elective. Whoa, are we going? Uh, okay. What was that all about? Rigonitis? Does this look like rigonitis to you? Oh, that stuff is great with Alfredo sauce. I know it's inverted face syndrome. I'm not some uneducated mass here. I know how to vet my sources. Excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. You seem to have a problem that is technical in nature, yes? Oh, uh, hello. Uh, who are you? I am someone who can help. What if I told you I knew of other ways to solve technical problems? You seem really, really shady. Thank you. Here, take my card and tell me. Did you speak to a doctor today? I sure did. They told me they couldn't help me. This is too bad. If only there was someone who could help you in this time of trouble. Huh? I mean to say there are others beyond that doctor or this system. Uh, you mean Canada? Oh, that's a great idea. What? No, that's not what I meant. Right. Canada, let's go! Onward to government-run healthcare, my friend! Thanks, shady stranger! So, uh, how do we get to Canada? That's easy. We go up. Canada is always up of us. But we can't drive there. That'd be absurd. Yeah, that's how they get you. Right. We'll take the sewers, Pylon. Let's go. Everyone knows you only get to Canada by subterranean portal. It's very nice of Kevin to wait back there while I clear the path to Canada. Fabled Canadian Spider Boost. I know Canada's around here somewhere. It's so big you can see it from space. Huh. 
I wonder where all the sewage is in this sewer. Everyone knows you only get to Canada by subterranean portal. Glad there's more ketchup down here. There's more ketchup down here. I know Canada's around here somewhere. It's so big you can see it from space. Ah! Get away, you bat -ease. the sewage is in the sewer. Ah, a heart. I needed that. I have found the key to Canada. Canada, where the air is crisp and... Uh, hey, I thought Canada was cold. It is, so long as it isn't the first Thursday in September. We're in the middle of their summer. What luck. Now, to find someone to put you back together, my faceless friend. There's gotta be someone in that town down there. Let's go, Pylon. There you are. Right on time. Yeah. What do you want? We've been watching you. So? And how do you think you have done in your mission? They're not making a good game. It's what you wanted, right? Happy? Is the game better than it was yesterday? It doesn't matter if it's better, it's still not good. Our intelligence suggests it is trending the wrong direction. Is that your handiwork? I've barely gotten used to working there. That didn't answer the question, Miss Potter. Do you know why the director chose you? Yeah, because you could blackmail me. You have a particular set of skills. We expect you to use those skills. But who are you all anyway? We're just humble civil servants doing our duty, Miss Potter. And so are you. Now, please do as we ask. And I promise you this will come to an end. 
Hello, how may I help you? Whoa, I think their receptionist is a robot. Ooh, how futuristic. Excuse me, is this where I could see a technical doctor? Please take a number. Hey, look at that, a robot that does something. We should get one of those. Thanks. Oh man, that's a terrible number. Ooh, this could take a while. Ah, I feel great. Nothing like a dip in the old regeneration pool. I'm glad our restorative bath has restored your vitality. Yeah, between that and the healing ray, I feel more animated than I've felt in years. Cool, healing rays? Oh, I did a healing ray. See you next time I catastrophically injure myself, robot. We eagerly await your further injury. Me too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go run a marathon now. Bye. <sighs> Don't worry. I've got a plan. We've just got to find someone in that crowd with a low number. Now calling number seven. Ooh, the future's all chromatic abratati. Whoa, are you a robot? Half robot. I didn't know you could be half robot. You can be anything, kid. Oh man, if this person has a low number, they definitely need it more than me. 23. Oh man, that's really good. Huh. Guess this one has a terrible number. Even though this person has a giant head, I still can't tell if they're staring at me or not. Number 34. Not too bad. Hey, stop picking up my number. This person has the number 239. That's rotten. Hey, hey there! What number do you have? Twelve. Shouldn't be long now. Oh, yeah! That's really good. I should talk to Kevin about you. What? Huh? Oh, man. Ragdoll problems. Those are the worst. I'm not sure what happened to this person, but I bet it involved collision detection. I'm no doctor, but this is probably related to navigation missions. Whoa, is this a bug? Or is this the next step in our evolution? Oh man, there's a lot of cool things back there. I have found the person with the lowest number. Great, okay, just play along with me here. <clears throat> Can we buy your spot in line? Uh, sorry? Worry not, friend. We can compensate appropriately. Oh, yeah. We'll pay top dollar. Well, maybe not literally top dollar, but uh, I do have some half-used gift cards, and I have dozens of followers on social media. Uh, you know, they're all yours. Just name your price. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you American? Uh, who wants to know? <gasps> Americans! Get them out of here before they steal our health care. Oh, they'll tell everyone back home. They can't leave here alive. Hey, hey, I thought Canadians were supposed to be, like, super nice. Super polite and super nice are not the same thing. Prepare to die, uh, please. Yeah. Well, that's the first time I've ever been run out of an entire country. That was pretty fun. I normally only get run out of grocery stores. I had no idea that Canada's health care system was so cutthroat. Also, unfortunately, we're out of options. Huh? What's that? It was in my pocket. That weird shady person gave it to me. Ooh, do you think they were a technical doctor? Only one way to find out. <clears throat> Damn colors, go where I tell you. No, that will never work on this, no. What was I thinking? Oh. Hey there, Timothy. I'm Timothy 3000, Automated Office Assistant. I'm here to help you with all your needs. Right. Okay. Timothy, would you let your friends down if it meant you could avoid something bad happening to you? I'm sorry. I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Those creeps can tell the whole world if they want. I can't let this team down. Ah, hello there. I knew you would come eventually. Hi, my name is... Ah, ah, ah. No names here, and I only work with cash. You can call me Dr. I.K. My associate is Mr. F.K. Just between us, I'm the forward-thinking one here. Oh, secret code names. Okay, uh, well, call me Don Ketchup. Yeah, uh, and, uh, you... 
can call me, uh, Pylon. Hey! All right, don't catch up in Pylon. What seems to be the problem? Right, so, can you fix this? Sacred Vertex! I haven't seen a case of rigor porcus that bad in quite some time. Now I feel special. So it's not Rigoditis? Definitely not. And it's not non-manifold topology or malweighted birds? No, definitely Rigoborcus. Terminal Rigoborcus, I'd say. Oh no, <gasps> how terrible. Come inside and let's talk. You have come to the right place. Oh, Mitch, have you seen Pylon? What? Oh, uh, no, is everything okay? The current build of the game is a disaster. I can't get any work done without crashing, and the surfer guy has a rocket launcher now. Well, uh, I'm sure he's fine. The surfer guy? I should hope so with that rocket launcher. Hey, what was that letter all about earlier? Anything juicy? No, not really. Just the uh, junk. Oh, I meant to tell you. The guy who dropped it off, the one with the umbrella, he had a message for you. Oh? Yeah, he said, tell her I hope that Mr. Snuffles is okay. Oh. I told him I'd never heard you talk about a Mr. Snuffles, but you know, even though you've only been here a few weeks, you never do really talk about your home life much. That's okay, neither do I. But in my case, it's for your own safety. Mitch? Mitch? Mitch! What? Oh! Huh? Yeah. Hon, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Dr. I.K.? You need tech doctor, no? Mr. F.K., who is best tech doctor? <laughs> you, my friend. See, Mr. F.K. says I am best. So, what does this involve? Don't catch it. You look in mirror. Oh no, you say, you see missing face? Such a regrettable morning. But the real problem is that you only see the problem skin deep. The core of your troubles. This is deep within you, Don Ketchup. Like my spine? Look, it's slightly reticulated, but that's never caused issues before. No! Deeper. My spleen? Your mind is holding back the recovery. You hold on to this dream of who you were yesterday, but tomorrow, you can be someone new. In your head, you hold the key to the problem. But my head is what's missing. Yes, and this is our specialty. Mr. FK can find new head. Yes, Mr. FK? You buy the ice, I bring the part and the head. I don't want a new head. I liked my old one. Oh, but this is better. You could have any head. Do you like this child man's head? Why would anyone want his head? Hey, yeah. We got a website. You pick one out online. Listen, shady doctor person. I just want my old head back, Doc. It's where my nose lives. <sighs> okay, okay, there is a way. You think he could take it? Mr. FK. Okay, okay, you're the boss. Yes, the machine is not exactly the most state approved of machines, but if your head is around here somewhere, this will find it. How? It hits you many times, right where head should be. Hmm? What? How does that work? Technology is a wonderful thing, my friend. If I wanted someone to hit me on the head, I would have let Viper do it. It knocks sense back into head. Shows heads who is boss, eh? I don't think I like the sound of this. Put the machine on him, please! <laughs> heads up! <laughs> Somebody liked! Ah! Oh, there's a progress meter around my face! I better get all the stars before it fills! Dang it! Ow! Stop that! Ah! A few more hits! Yes! Yes! Oh, come on, quit that! Suffer so that you may emerge victorious! Oop! Ow! Ow! Dang it! Ow! Stop that! Ah! Ah! We shall conquer Don Ketchup! They were fools to take my license away! Yes! Hey! What? Your face meter is a third fool! We 
visitless friend. The machine! Oh, there's a progress meter around my face. I better get all the stars before it fills. Don't catch up! They were fools to take my license away! Yes! Hey! What? Dang it! Ow! Stop that! Ow! You suffer so that you may emerge victorious! There's a progress meter around my face. I better get all the stars before it fills. Ah! Ow! Yes! Yes! Keep going! May emerge victorious! Ow! Oh, what's that thing all about? Ow, that hurts! Oh! Ow, that hurts! Ow! Ow, that hurts! Your face meter is a third pull! Dang it! Ow! Stop that! Ow! Ow! Dang it! Ow! Stop that! Oh, come on, quit that! Why would a machine like this even exist? We are halfway there, my visitless friend. Dang it! Ow! Stop that! Ow! Ow! A few more hits! Yes! Yes! Catch up! They were fools to take my license away! Yes! Hey! What? Ow! Three quarters to victory! Don't catch up! Ah, oh! Ah, ow! Oh! Oh! Ah, ow! Oh no! More bombs! Ow! That so close! Wonderful! Oh! Ah! Okay, 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 that's enough. I've had a 
That hurt. Victory hurts, Don Ketchup, but it is still victory and it tastes so sweet. Hey, your head, it's back. Oh, really? Awesome. Did you doubt my abilities? Your non-manifolds have been un-non-manifolded. That's great. Except there's a ringing in my ears and I keep saying white flashes. Side effects will fade, uh, someday. Now remember, this thing we have done, it is not everything you need. Inside, you are still someone else. Can't change insights. We tried once. Wasted a lot of ice on this day. But we can change your outsides! When you want a new head to match your heart, you know where to find us! So, what did he mean by all that inside you're someone else stuff? I think he was just trying to upsell me. Huh. Probably. Ugh, creepy. Oh, hey you two, where have you been? Yeah, we needed a personal day, okay? Uh, do you think Jeb noticed? Well, let me tell you, I noticed. The game has been broken all day and we sure could have used your help. Where were you all day? I had to go talk to, uh, some other technical people. About, uh, tactical things. I'll get right in there and have a look, Joan. Sorry. Well, better late than never. I'm glad to see your face, Pylon. Oh, yeah. You and me both, Joan. You and me both. playing 3 out of 10 season 1. My name is Joe Marabello and I'm the creative director of 3 out of 10. I'm also the founder and CEO of Terrible Posture Games. And I am Zuko, the technical director of 3 out of 10. Look, if I ever say anything weird, it's just because you don't understand the reference, which makes you weird. Sweaty Blood. Sweaty Blood is the game franchise that Viper is obsessed with. We kind of always allude to it being this uh, old... I can't wait to tell folks about my time as an intern! He's 2.5D shooter, FPS game. Kind of like 
Doom. Like, I don't really actually know because we don't really say. It could be just as easily a Contra or a Metal Slug type game. So Julia's the voice I know Usher is under behind very me. high door here. Um, we never show her. Second she shouts at the and player to lead her along so she can do her recording work. Well, she's always being disturbed. And a sturdy hero of the game. Every episode she says a few things. Drink in the Easel phase. Easel. And something will make this game like the silliest thing. Four episodes in. Yeah, everyone was going to go back and watch Never cast it. And we had nothing to work with. And so really quickly, one of the people who was helping us out with the audio on this got their wives to, got his wife to record some lines real fast. And I know this one. It's times like this that we need to bunker down and talk about nostalgia. I'd say I'm the best dancer in the studio, but I don't want to make Jeb feel bad. Ever have that moment where you wonder if you're a character in a video game? Yeah. <laughs> Neither do I. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Remember, if I make treats for the office, wait until I send an email so everyone gets to try some. Joan has done a little bit of everything, but the coolest thing about her
You know, a lot of interns would love to get the chance to be in this menu. 